Welcome back. Now we did a uh, overview video of the Terraform files and directories, but I wanted to go over the Terraform init command, which creates some of its own files and uh, directories that Terraform uses. Now we mentioned that uh, Terraform modules uh, as basically being these directories containing our Terraform configuration files, uh, which are written in that uh, Terraform configuration language. All the files in that directory or module are loaded and evaluated together by Terraform. Now, other than these Terraform configuration files that we create, uh, Terraform creates some other files and directories it uses to store different settings and uh, cache our uh, provider plugins and modules, um, and sometimes uh, state information as well. Now, if we use the idea that Terraform builds our infrastructure resources, our working directory is sort of like our building site. Uh, we need to take a few steps to prepare the land to start building on it first. So to prepare our working directory for Terraform to use, we need to initialize it. And to do this, we run the CLI command terraform init. If you do happen to forget this init step before running terraform, uh, you'll get an error reminding you that you need to run the init command first. This terraform init does a few things to get our working directory or a building site ready. Uh, it looks at our configuration files and it'll download and install the provider plugins or modules uh, and connects to our backend state system. Now, we'll be going over state a lot very soon, uh, but state, you can kind of think of it as your inventory map that uh, Terraform uses to track all the actual infrastructure resources that Terraform manages and all the related metadata information for those resources. So running Terraform init will create a hidden uh, .terraform directory in this uh, working directory we're using uh, to manage all the different cached plugins, uh, modules, and other state information. This .terraform directory is managed by Terraform. Now, if you've run Terraform init in a working directory already, uh, but since then you've modified the version configuration of Terraform, or uh, perhaps some of your providers, or even added different providers to your configuration, you'll need to run Terraform init again to reinitialize that working directory, just so that Terraform can update with any new provider installs or version changes, and take care of other housekeeping items that it manages. This init command is idempotent. Uh, so you can run init uh, over and over again in your working directory and you won't really hurt anything. Um, you know, Terraform will evaluate uh, when you run init and if it doesn't need to update anything, uh, it won't make any changes. Terraform is also great here about throwing uh, informative errors at you in case you forgot to run init uh, to update itself if you've made some uh, config changes that require uh, a reinitialization of your uh, working directory. So along with your Terraform config files and uh, working directory and module directories, uh, Terraform has a few other files and directories it automatically manages, and these are all created and updated with the Terraform init command. So that's it for this quick lesson on Terraform init. Uh, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.